The Department of Public Works and Highways is treading carefully on the Herculean task of EDSA surface road and sub-base makeover using an emerging technology that could eliminate widespread digging along stretches of the highway. Hence the process of testing and retesting to ensure the methodology works, as our Bernard Ferrer reports. The Department of Public Works and Highways, or DPWH, is currently testing a piece of engineering technology that can be used for the EDSA Rebuild project. Although the entire process has yet to be determined, in terms of duration, DPWH Secretary Manuel Bonoan said there are two primary steps that need to be undertaken. First, the strengthening of a road's base and sub-base. And second, the installation of the running surface. If the testing of this process proves successful, there will be no need to dig up the entire stretch of EDSA, a major thoroughfare used daily by hundreds of thousands of motorists and commuters each day. After the trying to put it into a time and motion uh, uh, process, para ma determine namin kung we can estimate how long it will take us actually to do the to do all the uh, pay, uh, HRA, uh, rebuild program. Nilalagay namin yung test namin to the most traveled. Uh, Travel roads in Metro Manila, in Adana, Namatra. The DPWH also prioritized complying with the directive of President Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. to mitigate the project's adverse impact on traffic flow. The construction will continue to follow by lane approach to avoid causing major disruptions to motorists and commuters. By lane, pa rin. eventually, yung paggawa ng ano yung running surface. By lane, pa rin. but um, probably hindi na kami gagawa sa araw yung mga ganun ba. Tinitinan namin kung paano. One of the project's objective is to address the flooding that affects certain parts of EDSA during the rainy season. There's no way but to dig it up and put a new drainage structure. Yun lang ang medyo challenge dyan. Meanwhile, the MMBA Special Operations Group Strike Force conducted clearing operations along Masaya Street in Quezon City. Several illegally parked vehicles and tricycles obstructing the sidewalks were towed away by the authorities. Bernard Fidel from the National TV Network for new and better full beats.